Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Walters, and I'd like to welcome you to this brief lecture, overview lecture on symbolic interaction, social exchange, uh, but especially dramaturgical analysis. Perhaps the idea of social exchange is instrumental in maximizing individual outcomes, challenges basic ideas about friendship, family ties, and human dignity. Some human social exchanges are intrinsically rewarding. We find ourselves reminded of this, especially around the holidays, such like Thanksgiving. Such interactions are the goal. However, these social interactions provide bricks and mortar for recreating and fortifying institutions and institutional settings, family, school, work in which they occur. Observe others while you celebrate. What small scale gestures and symbols do those around you deploy to maintain or rupture the positive or negative social ambiance? How do individuals in these situations challenge the day-to-day -day routines of rituals that fortified gendered, ethnic, or racial spaces at the micro level. The readings and vodcast on symbolic interaction focus on the emergence of self and identity within these small face-to-face -face groups and then larger institutional settings. George Herbert Mead of the early 20th century Chicago School highlights the distinction between an I, or agent of action, and a me, which views actions and anticipated actions through the eyes of significant others. Late 20th century, Irving Goffman expands the symbolic interaction framework to incorporate drama, theater, and gaming. He offers a rich set of analytic tools that help us see how individuals reveal and conceal information through impression management to maximize individual outcomes. In the end, while Goffman focused on interaction using the dramaturgical model throughout his sociological career, he came to see the contribution of structure as typically overpowering any plausible episode of interaction. Some tools and strategies defeat others in these episodes. However, rank, power, status, and resources usually hold the keys to dominance in face-to-face -face interactions. And thus, the latter function to perpetuate existing social structures. Have a great week. And I look forward to reading your post on the discussion forum.